just want to welcome everyone to this course, which is CCTV installation for beginners. And it's a getting started course. Who is this course designed for? This is for beginners. So anyone just starting out who is ever interested in what it takes to install a surveillance system, this will just be a run through of the basics of installing CCTV systems. Who am I? My name is Damien Dick and I'll be your instructor in this course. I'm also the founder of Pixfin PC Technology Services. And we founded Fixfin PC in 2014, initially as a computer repair company. We soon found ourselves moving into the field of networking and then branching off into CCTV as well. We have done installations in various parts of Trinidad and Tobago and also in the US, specifically in the New York area, Queens, Manhattan, Long Island, Staten Island, and New Jersey. So let's get started and let's get into this course. What is CCTV? It's a bunch of cameras that record video and sometimes audio and send it back to a central location where someone would observe it and take actions depending on what they observe. So we're gonna jump into the types of CCTV systems. Our first type is one that is on its way out but it's not going out without a fight. Uh, this is an analog DVR system and the technology itself is analog in nature. So in other words, it's uh, very, there's no digital signals being transferred except for the ethernet port. So all, all your traffic basically for the cameras come through these ports here, which are BNC connectors. So this area here is where you're gonna plug your cameras into. All right, so they're gonna join on to these connectors from the box directly to the camera. So whatever the camera sees, it goes directly into here. There's no processing done on the camera end. Everything is done within this machine. So it basically comes in here, all the camera signals come in here. How you view that signal is by two means. You either view it through the connected HDMI port or the VGA port or you use a computer or the internet and the information will then be relayed through the ethernet port which will connect to the network and allow you to be able to view it on your phone or on a laptop somewhere. Branching off of this you now have the HD or high definition DVR system and as you can see here we have different types of HD. You have analog HD, you have TVI, CVI, and SVI. Each are different type of signal transmissions. So therefore, a TVI system, a camera, a TVI camera, may not work with an HD camera system, and that goes the same for all of them. So they each have to match. The cameras have to have the same technologies as the DVR. The only other case where you can use it is in the hybrid case, which we will we'll discuss a little later. And by the way, an analog system usually goes up to probably anywhere between uh, 460p to 1.3 megapixels. All right, now if you don't know what these things are, it'll make sense as we go later on in the course, what these measurements are. Right. These are basically the resolution that the cameras um, transmit at. Right. So we'll get into that in more detail later. But this would be your, your, your televisions usually come with 1080p. Right. And 1080p is still more than this. 1080p is closer to 2 megapixels. Right. So this is where analog usually meets its limitation right here at 1.3. There are some analog systems that carry two megapixels, but when you get into the two megapixel range, then you're stepping into HD. And that's where you have analog HD, right? So the analog HD really steps up, but the pure analog, it maxes out at 1.3. Okay, next we have the NVR system, which is more commonly used these days 
especially in large scale projects, right? And the NVR system is internet protocol based, which is IP. So it can use the ethernet to transmit its, its signal from camera to NVR. And these are the ethernet ports right here. Now you see a difference between these and the HD ports. The HD ports would have these BNC connectors. Whereas the IP ports would have these ethernet connectors. Now this is separate and apart from this connector here on the side. This one goes out to the network. And these go to the cameras. So you will have one network here, which is the camera network. And you would have another network here, which is the general local area network or LAN. Now we get into what we discussed earlier, we touched upon it, which is the hybrid, which is IP analog HD DVRs, sometimes called a five in one or four in one, or however the marketing people want to sell it to you. But basically what it does, it allows for different CCTV technologies to converge into one device, which allows flexibility and scalability in your applications. So it usually comes with BNC connectors and it also, you can add IP channels. So if a, for instance, say you have a 32 channel hybrid DVR, it would have 16, usually it will have 16, it could even have eight, but whatever number it has in the BNC connectors, the rest of channels will be available over the IP and that is via the ethernet port that is located on the back of the NVR or DVR. They both have one to connect with the internet. So it uses the internet protocol to connect the other cameras directly to the DVR. And you can add it as a channel and then you can replay it right off your phone, right on the computer, right in the monitoring station. All right, so they usually in these hybrid systems, you can also use different types of cameras. So you can incorporate your TVI, your CVI, you know your SVI and your HD as well as good old analog cameras so this is that is this these hybrid systems are really good for people who are into CCTV a long time and they just want to upgrade so you can take the existing cameras the one that still show reasonably enough to be reused and you can keep those cameras and just add new HD cameras or you can add IP cameras as well to the system and thereby reduce costs for your client.